The Medicinal Chemistry Program at UNSW is a new program that we've uh, uh, introduced to teach students about the design and development of new drugs. Uh, it gives you the fundamentals uh, to allow you to work in the pharmaceutical industry uh, and, and have a research uh, career. Um, it's been uh, developed in consultation with our industrial partners who were looking for um, a new type of degree which covered biology and, and chemistry. And as such, we, we teach chemistry and pharmacology together in a four-year program uh, which culminates in a, in a research uh, uh, project. If I had to explain to someone in high school what medicinal chemistry was, I would say it's chemistry applied to the field of biology. You're trying to use chemistry to solve perhaps problems with someone with cancer or some other condition. If you're considering studying medicinal chemistry, obviously you should do chemistry at high school. I think it's critical that you do have that. It's obviously a core part of the course. Um, and, and clearly for any science degree, I think things like maths and physics are also uh, very important. And clearly if you're interested in medicinal chemistry, you're probably interested in biology. So again, it's not absolutely necessary that you have that, but it is uh, uh, obviously would be beneficial to you. What excites me about medicinal chemistry is the ability to work uh, on, on new problems to try and find uh, cures for, for disease. As a high school student, I was really interested in how molecules interact with the human body and how the drug that you take in a pill form, how this actually interacts with proteins and parts of the cell which uh, give an effect, which makes you feel better. And uh, to help people out like that is, uh, I thought it would be really rewarding. So the structure of the medicinal chemistry program at UNSW uh, is actually quite um, straightforward compared to some degrees. It, we actually tell you quite a lot of the subjects that you need to do. And the idea is the way it's been designed is that you'll finish with a research project in your fourth year and so therefore we build in a series of courses to make sure that you have the fundamentals to be able to do that. So at first year, you have a fairly um, set program of uh, chemistry, um, biology, and mathematics and statistics, uh, with one elective that you can uh, choose which, what you want. Then you progress on to second year, where you start to focus on chemistry and pharmacology and biochemistry. And then finally at third year, you end up doing chemistry and pharmacology. And so it's quite unique in the university that you're able to do uh, these two subjects across two different faculties. And then once you've done that, um, you're able to then do a fourth year, which means that you will work uh, on an honours project, which means that you're working with a research group, with a, you have a research supervisor who'll be your mentor, and you'll get to work on a project that will be original research, looking at uh, the design and development of new drugs or new therapeutics. There is also a lot of uh, laboratory activities uh, in your undergraduate degree, so you have a lot of hands-on experience and practical experience, particularly if you continue on to do an honours degree. Yeah, that's where you have a real intense hands-on experience that really provides you with the skills that you can take to industry and say, look, it's not, I don't just know what I'm doing, I know how to do it, um, that they're really looking for. Um, one thing I think it's important to, to understand is that the the medicinal chemistry degree is not a pharmacy degree. It doesn't qualify you to do pharmacy. Um, while we deal in manufacturing and producing drugs, uh, pharmacy is a different part of the field. Uh, after completing my degree in 2004, I went to work for a pharmaceutical com company here in Australia, just a small pharmaceutical company called Novagen, where I was a research and development scientist um, collaborating with the biology team and the uh, analytical chemists uh, with the company anticipating that there'll be uh, certainly people going into the pharmaceutical industry and biotech industries. But we've already got students who are getting summer vacation scholarships working with the Heart Research Foundation, working with the Lowy Cancer Centre. Um, and so we anticipate that many of our graduates will end up uh, working in the pharmaceutical industry in some form. Um, your honours year is probably one of the best years of your life as you get to uh, do your own research and investigate something that nobody else has tried before. So you really become the expert in that field. If nothing else, you have a small thing that you are the expert at.